Eto, Živanović i Pruživovac je šansa. Joj, čovječe, pa da bi li, ja to imam pisač šesto kroz tristo. To je nevata snima. Pruživovac je šansa kroz tristo. Pregledajte, pregledajte malo nepu zradu, pregledajte, uđite pažljivo. Pravac potočan! Pravac potočan i bratunac, ne možete se ustati, hajde! Treći ispred mene, skroz, hajde! Hajmo, bom! Napred, pravac potočan! Hajde, napred, hajde! Hajde, skroz! Skini ovu tablu. Ulica Selmana Gić, Reuk, Crni. Skinite to. Hajde, benji se bre čoveče, nemoj da ti govorim deset puta i po desto. Napis trebrim sa uze. Ne diraj, pazi. Ne, 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 to je. Promonska, ne diraj. Skoni je, skoni je polako tamo, pažljivo na... Skoni je tamo, polako i stavi u... Iza drva. Desetano. Evo, ovo je deset i podel od desetano. Sad tu nađe. Do you remember the feeling? Yes, everything. It's painful to, to remember that. Bilo da je malo, veliko, staro ili mlado. Ne bojte se ništa, samo polako, polako. Neka prvo idu žene i djeca. Doće 30 autobusa, prebacit ćemo vas prema kladnju. Odakle ste preći na teritoriju koju kontrolišu, ali ne snagi. Samo bez panike i propustite malu djecu i žene. Nemojte da se neko djete izgubi. Ne bojte se ništa, niko vam neće ništa uraditi. Ovo je živio. Koliko ti je godina? Kako ti imaš? Molim vas, budite veo vam strpljivi. Samo malo. Svi koji žele da ostanu, mogu da ostanu. Svi koji žele da napuste ovu teritoriju, također mogu. Obezbedili smo dovoljno i autobusa i kamiona, bit ćete premlačeni do kladnje. Samo polako. Women and children like Elvisa were bussed out. The men were told they'd follow. Evo pogledajte oko njegovi, ovi svi djedovi, ovi svi dječaci, ovo niko nije došao. Niko nije preživio. Termine! Ajde da vam, ja sam da vam oslobodno glas Srba! Svi ajte! Nedjad took us on the journey he made back in 1995, 
Then, as a prisoner crammed into a truck with dozens of others, their hands tied behind their backs. And that's the place where mass execution took place. I could see the lines and lines and rows and rows of dead bodies. I knew it was the end, really, at that moment. They ordered us to, to lay down, and uh, I just thought, oh, my mother would never, <laughs> never know where I ended up, how I finished, and uh, <laughs> then they started a fire, and uh, I was dying, and uh, I just uh, could hear moans, <laughs> moans of other people who, who, who were wounded. It was uh, so painful, I, I just uh, prayed that God to die. And then I noticed uh, someone was moving in front of me, and that's uh, enough. Yeah. <laughs> the pair escaped yeah. when the soldiers went to collect more men to kill. Nejad was badly wounded and in terrible pain. With the mood changing, Nedjad and Elvisa told me they already know Bosniaks who've packed up and left. Elvisa would like to follow them. If you leave, who will be the winner? Every year on the anniversary, more men are buried in the vast Potichari memorial to the genocide victims of Srebrenica. Sometimes a bone fragment is all that's been found. And for 22 years, Nejad has carried the burden of being one survivor living in place of thousands. Amongst the dead, the father to whom he never got to say goodbye. Just reminds me of last moment when I, when I lost father in the, in the chaos. I wondered, based on his experiences, whether Nejad has a warning about where unchecked nationalism can lead. And what of true reconciliation here where genocide is denied in the very place it's judged to have happened. Those uh, who had uh, their hands bloody, if they, if they are, uh, come one day and uh, ask for forgiveness, I think that it, uh, it wouldn't be a problem for us to, to extend our hands. Do you think they ever will? događaju u Srebrenici što se toga tiče za mene i za Republiku Srpsku nije genocid. The current president of Republika Srpska, Milorad Dodik, doesn't accept the international court verdicts when it comes to Srebrenica. Here they celebrate convicted war criminals like the former president Radovan Karadzic as heroes.